welcome back to our channel max spice raven bottom bed if you are watching our channel first time please do subscribe to our channel and in this video lecture we are going to discuss about use of partial fractions to evaluate inverse lag mass transforms so using partial fractions we are going to evaluate inverse lag mass you know about uh, partial fractions rules so just once recall the rules of partial fractions there are so many rules we can use few rules here so for example the rule one if you have any function of s in numerator f of s by if you have like this s plus a into s plus b like this n terms you don't have any squares in denominator then you can split them like this a by s plus a plus b by s plus b if you have any function or constant the bases are constant whatever it will and if you have like this s plus a whole square into s plus b then you need to split like this if you have whole square a by s plus a plus b by s plus a whole square plus c by s plus b if you have internal square like this s square plus a into s plus b if you have if you have internal square like this you need to split like this a s plus b by s square plus a plus c by s plus b if you have here also s square you need to write c s plus b c s plus b if you have internal square if you have whole square like this so like this we have partial fractions rules which we learn in uh, intermediate like that in diploma so this helps to evaluate inverse lag mass transform where we think about this apart from these three principles we have some shortcuts without using the, these formulas few shortcuts are there when you have like this if you have like this 1 by s plus a into s plus b this can be splitted like this 1 by b minus a 1 by s plus b minus 1 by s plus a when b greater than k so if you take lcm also you will get s plus a here you will get s plus b so here s plus a here s plus a here s plus b so you will get s plus b here you will get s plus a there so then what happens s plus b s plus a plus s minus s get cancel b minus a will have b minus a b minus a cancel this is one shortcut without using this principle here it won't feel uh, much useful but in this case we can use this one very frequently 1 by s square plus a into s square plus b if you have so you can do this one like this 1 by b minus a 1 by s square plus a minus 1 by s square plus b but think once if you want to apply this type of rule how lengthy the problem will be you need to write a s plus b c s plus d you have to evaluate unknown c a b c d it may take a one and half page problem that one and half page lengthy solution can be evaluated within single step if we have in this form so i will uh, give one example to understand this second note if we have this case evaluate l inverse of 1 by s square plus 9 into s square plus 16 if we have like this even though if we have s also in numerator you can uh, use this one if we have s also first to keep one next write s what i am saying simply treating this one as b this one as a use this formula 
Use this one. 1 by b minus a, 1 by a square plus a minus 1 by a square plus b. Use this one. There you know what is a and what is b. 1 by 16 minus 9, L inverse of 1 by a square plus 9 minus 1 by a square plus 16. So if you subtract 9 from 16, 1 by 7. Okay. L inverse of L inverse of 1 by s square plus 9 minus L inverse of 1 by s square 9 can be written as 3 square, 4 square. So this is the formula we are going to use. L inverse of 1 by s square plus a square 1 by a sin a t. So here 1 by 7 1 by 3 sin 3t minus 1 by 4 sin 4t. So like this one can easily evaluate without using these principles for few cases only. So if you have like this also, if you want to evaluate the inverse of 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 4, then similar model, this will be b, this will be a. But 1 by 4 minus 1, L inverse of 1 by S plus 1, S plus 4. What is L inverse of uh, S plus 1? L inverse of 1 by S plus 1 is e power minus t. L inverse of 1 by S plus 4 is e power minus 4t. This is formula. L inverse of 1 by S plus a, e power minus a t. So like this, without using these partial fractions, we can evaluate very few. But in few cases, we have to use that we will discuss in the next problems. Okay? Any doubts you may ask in these shortcuts? So evaluate L inverse of Vs minus 2 by S plus 1 into S plus 3. L inverse of 2 S plus 1 by S square plus 1 into S plus 2. If you have problems like this, you have to use partial fractions. You need to split this one into two fractions. So coming to the first one. L inverse of 3s minus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 3. Here, first split this function of s using partial fractions. a by s plus 1 plus b by s plus 3. Because we don't have any squares, we are going to use rule 1 of partial rule 1 of partial fractions. Now, take s plus 1 into s plus 3 as LCM like this. a into s plus 3 plus b into s plus 1. 3s minus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 3. So these get cancelled. Now, 3s minus 2 equal to a into s plus 3 plus b into s plus 1. So now this is left over after cancellation. Now we need to find a value and b value then problem will be over. To find a you need to substitute in the place of s some value. That value will be evaluated with simple technique. a denominator we are having s plus 1. If you equate s plus 1 to 0 s will be minus 1 s plus 1 0 s equal to minus 1. If you write in the place of s minus 1 b becomes 0 you will get a value. So put s equal to minus 1. So 3 into minus 1 minus 2 equal to a into minus 1 plus 3. So here minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 equal to 2a. a will be minus 5 by 2. Similarly, put s equal to minus 3. If you write here minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 0, a becomes 0. So that also, this is the technique s plus 3 0, s will be minus 3. To get b, substitute in the place of s minus 3. 3 into minus 3 minus 2 equal to b into minus 3 plus 1. So 3 3 are 9, minus 11 we will get. 
minus 3 plus 1. So B equal to 11 by 2. So finally, L inverse of 3s minus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 3 equal to a by what is a minus 5 by 2 by s plus 1 b 11 by 2 by s plus 3 if you keep 5 by 2 constant this formula we are going to use here l inverse of 1 by s plus a e power minus a t so here also you will get like this e power minus t s plus 3 e power minus 3 t e power minus t e power minus 3 t so this is l inverse of 3s minus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 3 value now coming to the second one in the second one we need to evaluate this one 2s plus 1 by s square plus 1 into s plus 2 first split the tetramal term using partial fractions 2s plus 1 by s square plus 1 into s plus 2 is because we have s square second rule of partial fraction as plus b by s square plus 1 plus c by s plus 2 now take this one as LCM, s square plus 1 into s plus 2, this one into this one, a s plus b into s plus 2 plus c into s square plus 1, 2s plus 1 by s square plus 1 into s plus 2. So this get cancelled. After cancellation, let go you are having a numerator. So now to get the c value, Simply write in the place of s minus 2. If you write in the place of s minus 2, you will get c. 2 into minus 2 plus 1 equal to. So here write in the place of s minus 2. If you write in the place of s minus 2, minus 2 plus 2, 0. So c into minus 2 whole square plus 1. So here minus 4 plus 1, minus 3, 4 plus 1, 5. So C is minus 3 by 5. Now coming to A and B. If you write in the place of a semi value, you won't get 0. Because S square you are adding. Then you cannot find A B values by substitution like this. Then you need to think about comparing coefficients. Then you can get the answers. So we are comparing coefficients like this. Comparing coefficient of s square. S square coefficient. Here you don't have s square, so 0. Here a s into s, a s square, so a is 1. Here c you will get c s square. a plus c 0, a will be minus c. Minus c means 3 by 5. To get b, Compare coefficient of s are constant. Comparing coefficient of s. Here coefficient of s is 2. as into 2, 2 as. 2 a will be 1 coefficient. And b into s is b. You won't get c as s coefficient because you are having s square and 1 only. So again I am explaining this as into 2, 2 as, so s coefficient 2 a, b into s, b s, s coefficient b. Now write in the place of b will be this one, 2 minus 2 a. Write in the place of a, a value, a value is 3 by 5, 5 to 0 10, 10 minus 6, 4. So now substitute, L inverse of 2s plus 1 by s square plus 1 into s plus 2 equal to a s plus b 3 by s 3 by 5 a is uh, 3 by 5 s b is 4 by 5 by s square plus 1 plus c c is minus 3 by 5 s plus 2 tell yourself split them 
separately as individual fractions. 3 by 5 into n inverse of s by s square plus 1. plus 4 by 5 into 1 by s square plus 1 minus 3 by 5 into L inverse of 1 by s plus 2. Now, 3 by 5 into s by s square plus 1 cos t 4 by 5 into sin t minus 3 by 5 into e power minus 2 t. So this will be the answer for 2s plus 1 by s square plus 1 into s plus 2. If you have any doubts, you may express anywhere. One of the important topics in uh, inverse lab class.